Welcome. In this module, we'll talk about information security strategy uh, or even the governance strategy for smaller organizations. Uh, so um, information security resources are, are fairly rare, uh, depending on the type of market and the type of country um, and the type of environment we're talking about. And they're slightly more expensive as well because uh, security is, is, is not a very, very common resource. And uh, there are very few people, in, usually in the industry, who are, who are the real experts in security. So um, smaller organizations cannot always afford uh, either many people or expensive resources or dedicated teams for security. So smaller and newer organizations face unique challenges, which may require a creative, um, out-of-the-box approach to implement a successful security transformation program. because. Information security is, is requirement of everybody, small, medium, and large organizations. But how is a smaller organization going to handle this? So we uh, are showing three main challenges for smaller organizations. Ad hoc culture, which is a firefighting kind of an environment, um, lack of process environment, you know, which is an ad hoc culture, limited budget, and uh, lack of resources and funds and untrained and immature and inexperienced staff. So the lower caliber of the staff contributing to the challenges of smaller organizations. Now, let's talk about limited budget. Now, limited budget really means limited priority um, because you, know, you, you always have money for the priorities. So you may have limited priority. It's a smaller organization and um, the importance perhaps is not that high yet because it's a newer or a smaller organization. And we're talking about limited resources as well, obviously. So you break up the project into phases, matching resource allocation and the organizational bandwidth available. So, you know, uh, it's a smaller organization, firefighting kind of mode is there. You don't have enough resources, but the organizational appetite also obviously is not that much because there are fewer resources and they may not be of that high caliber. So you so what you need to do is break up into phases, take it slowly in parts, and match allocation to what the appetite is, uh, you know, and how much can you absorb, and, and do it in a staggered manner. And then limit scope to one location first, uh, one department, let's say one team, or even to one application initially. Just do one part first and, and use that as a case study or, you, or showcase that success and to you know, um, drive the successful implementation in the rest of the organization. And consider hiring one competent security or IT member in the team first, uh, rather than a whole team. Provide management support and periodic review. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, with that limited budget, um, you can, uh, with one resource, you can actually do uh, quite, uh, quite uh, efficient and useful tasks like providing management um, support to that resource so that one resource or that one single team or that limited team is very effective. And then to keep going back and see, see how they're doing with periodic review. And then you know, take 12 to 15 months for the entire security transformation. Do it staggered, do it in pieces, don't do it all together and uh, limit how much resource you're doing, resource you're allocating. So untrained staff is a very common problem for these smaller and newer organizations. Consider hiring a consultant, a trained, experienced consultant. Train, incentivize, and motivate the team. Give time to the team to adopt the security culture and processes slowly because the caliber or the exposure of the team may not be there fully to such a world-class global um, you know, information security management system or security program. Um, and then periodic management reviews and corrective actions uh, when they're taken up by management it sets the tone in the organization, sets the importance. Ad hoc culture is, is a serious issue as well in these newer and smaller organizations. Smaller and newer organizations may have a chaotic uh, ad hoc culture. There's people running all over the place, putting out fires all the time. Um, you know, there's no consistent way to do activities. You have to jump from one activity to the other. And uh, there's lack of a process approach and resources are not disciplined for consistent delivery, committed delivery. Um, and they're just not used to it. So. Uh, rapidly changing focus and attention span. There's a very little attention span. And uh, maybe resolved with a good project leader um, or a competent consultant as well. And training and setting organizational vision uh, can be very helpful. 
So the leaders of small organizations, the CEO or the founder, are usually aware of their organizational capacity, uh, how much they can absorb, what the sequ sequence should be, and the organizational capacity and limitations because they have experience and they built up the, the company. So it's a, it's a good idea to talk to them and get their input and work with the organizational leadership to deploy a, a competent project and team lead members who can drive the change in the small organization. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.